I love wild places. I love being outside. And if I could have it my way, there'd be wild places everywhere. You know, I care a lot about people too, and I care about our communities. And I realize that people need things. People are consumers. And it's nice when the things that they're consuming are renewable. The forests around here are like a gift. We live in one of the most productive growing environments for forests in the world. We have an opportunity and really a responsibility to manage that sustainably. We are one of the world's largest timberland owners. We're also one of the largest manufacturers of wood products. So we have such reach both geographically as well as globally. And we have a real responsibility to really be leaders both in our sector and for all of the people that we're serving. As a forester, we're very in tune with the weather. It's a big part of all of the jobs that we do. I've noticed as the conditions have changed in Oregon, things have gotten hotter and drier, and obviously the big fires that we've had in Oregon are a significant change from what we're used to dealing with out here. I think forestry is definitely a major player in dealing with climate change, just from a carbon storage standpoint. You know, trees absorb CO2, they take carbon and turn it into sugar and they put out oxygen that we breathe. And so when trees are growing, they absorb more and more carbon that then gets stored in wood. You know, I don't think people realize that by logging forests, we're actually creating more opportunities to store carbon than if we leave the trees just standing and growing forever. Warehouser has been reforesting our lands for a long time, even before it was required. That's kind of part of our DNA. We have a really vested interest in making sure that these trees live and that we're able to reforest these sites for harvest in the future and for all the other benefits of trees. Wood products are an incredibly efficient material to use and they're very cost effective to be used for housing. Now we know we cannot solve the affordable housing crisis alone, but where we do have a unique role is really helping improve speed and efficiency of materials to the market, getting creative about what types of housing can exist out of wood products, and then looking at all types of new innovative ways of building homes. And that can be anything from a tiny home, a modular building, a small cottage in someone's backyard, we need apartments, we need condos, and we believe that wood products can fit into all of those. You think about what the alternatives to building things out of a renewable material like wood, maybe it's steel or plastic or concrete. A lot of those alternatives are things that we have to dig out of the ground. There's a serious energy consideration. It takes a lot of effort to do that and to convert them into usable raw materials that we can do stuff with. Timber as an alternative is pretty straightforward. It's renewable and it's sustainable and it's all done right here. When you think about the wood products and building a home, you know, whether that's the first home or whether it's your dream home, you know, homes are, are meant to be lasting, that you pass down to other generations where all of your family come together at this home that's been built out of the products that Warehouse has built. That makes me feel wonderful. Cottage Grove is a mill town. A lot of people live and work here and the community depends on the support that the mill gives. When the people that live in Cottage Grove that work at Warehouser are happy, they stay in Cottage Grove and they spend their paychecks in Cottage Grove and they volunteer in Cottage Grove. So we have to think about the community and think about all the things that we do that affect the community down to the smallest thing, from donating our time to donating our lumber. Philadelphia, Mississippi. It's a small town where everybody kind of knows everybody. It's home for me. It's where I've raised my children and I intend on staying. My grandfather worked here. My dad also worked here for 40 years and retired. I also have two sons that works for the company as well. Warehouser isn't just a paycheck for the people that work here. Warehouser does a lot in the community. It makes me proud. Heck yeah, it makes me proud. 
training people, caring about our people, wanting them to be safe, wanting them to succeed in life. The impact to that is, is huge across the communities and surrounding counties. We really care about doing it well and doing the right thing. It's just so cool to know that, you know, even if you're not around to see it, you're leaving a legacy behind. I think that's what Warehouse is all about. We're preparing this company to be for the next generation that we're going to leave it for them to carry it on. I take it very seriously. I feel like I've been given a wonderful opportunity to be part of this and I'm really proud of what we're doing here. That's the real beauty of our 3 by 30 sustainability ambitions, is that it truly is what Weyerhaeuser is doing every day, but it's coming from a place of everyone knowing that they have a role to play and that they want to have a positive impact in the world as well, and that we can do that both as individuals and as a company.